Hello my name is Toria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another unboxing I want to share with you but today it's a little bit different because it is not an Android, it is a scale figure and I have today Mokuto from Free and I am so excited to finally add this to my collection. He has been on my grail list for quite some time so I'm really excited that I managed to get him. So I actually ended up getting him second hand because I actually missed the hype around Free when all the figures and everything came out. Um, if you saw my uh, back end of 2020 haul video I did, you'll see that I got the Mokuto and Haru um, figure from CD Japan. But I only really got into anime around 2015, 2016. I, I had some interest in it, but I really got really into anime and collecting figures around 2016. So I missed the hype of free and I'm so gutted because when they brought out season three in the movies, I really thought the hype would come back and I could relive it as everyone did I guess in 2013 and 2014 but unfortunately it hasn't as much but yeah I missed the hype and so I didn't get any of these guys on pre-order so I'm looking for second-hand versions of them and I'm so excited to now add him to my collection so I think it is now time to unbox him. <laughs> okay so he was listed as um, used, he'd, he'd been out of the packaging as far as I'm aware and the packaging was damaged. If you've ever bought anything secondhand from Japan you'll know that they keep their figures and boxes in pristine conditions. They'll quite often list them as damaged and you will be hard pressed to find where the damage is on the box and the figures themselves are usually absolutely perfect, they, they look unused. So his box is really nice there is very, very little damage on it. There are some marks, perhaps, where it's been kept in storage. And I have noticed that the lid doesn't shut properly, I guess, because the plastic crease here. But other than that, honestly, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know this was used. <laughs> this just looks like general marks you might get, you know, in transit in the UK, to be honest with you, via the postal service. So I'm really happy with that, and I am so excited to finally get into it. Let's go. Okay, so we have, I love his box as well. I should have said really, but I love the fact that you've got him on the side and it's got the waves and the colors of Mokuto as well. Okay, so we've got a very, very small instruction manual here. It looks like, it's all in Japanese. However, it does look like his head just comes off and you can put his swimming goggles around his neck, which I definitely will be doing. I like that pose. And here's Mokuto. As I said, he looks pristine, he doesn't look used. He even has his plastic still on around his head and around his goggles as well. So there's a stall in at MCM Comic Con in London that always have him and Haru and they're like £120 each, I think, around that price point. And back when I was at Con, you know, back in 2019, I wasn't really collecting scales, so I've never really invested in them. So I'm so happy that I've got him for about £50. Um, and I'm I'm on the hunt for Haru next. And I hope to get all of the three boys, to be honest with you, eventually. Okay, so start with his base. His base is really nice. It's just this clear base and it has his name on it. And then free TV animation. I always love at Con as well, when you have like a box of free merchandise and they always have to put in brackets free the anime not free in price that always really makes me laugh and here's Mogata I'm so excited to unwrap him honestly he's he's meant to be used but it feels like I'm unwrapping something that's brand new I don't know if he was ever actually displayed, to be honest with you. He's gorgeous. So he's a one eighth scale from Hobby Stock, the Alter um, figures, which I think are the same people that did the Haru and Mokuto starting days figure. But oh my gosh, he's so lovely. His jacket is absolutely beautiful. It's got so much like movement in it and everything so much detailing on them as well. I love his like swimming trunk trouser things, whatever you call them. So that's Mokuto. Put him down there. And these are his goggles, which go around his neck. So let me put him on the stand. 
So I'm going to have to do a bit of guesswork here. It just looks like his head pops off and the goggles come on. Oh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm so nervous with scale figures. Like Nendoroids, I feel like they're designed to be poseable and to take parts off and I feel like I can be a bit ruffled with them but like scales I'm always nervous so I'm just gonna pop his goggles on like that quickly put his head back on because he looks terrifying about it have I put them on upside down I don't know no I don't think I have so there he is his face is beautiful as well and some of the free figures the faces on them I find are a little questionable you know sometimes figures really capture the the character's face and sometimes they just don't but he is perfect oh I'm so excited I love his rather chiseled um abdominal area as well and even his jacket has like an actual zipper on it like that's so cute and let's pop him on the stand he has really big feet and there he is in all his glory I have absolutely zero regrets my only regrets is I did not get him sooner and I'm gonna have to get Haru now definitely to go with him and then I think next on my list is probably Rei and Nagisa and then Rin and Sosuke, I think. I absolutely love his paint work on this figure as well. It's perfect. The shading on it is beautiful. The colors in his jacket, it's really, really nicely done. This is definitely one of the nicer figures I own. The quality of him is just amazing. I'm quite flabbergasted. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to add him to my collection. And um, yeah, I hope that I can get the rest of the boys. So I'm going to just do some close-ups now of him because you probably can't quite see how gorgeous he is. I think you need a uh, close look to really appreciate him. So let's have a look at those. So that's my unboxing of uh, the Makoto free figure. Um, I really do hope that I can get Haru soon and you know the rest of the guys as well and hopefully I'll be able to share those with you as well. So if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up and if you like unboxing videos and would like to see some more please do subscribe. But anyway thank you very much for watching. Bye!